order. Mr. Speaker, Canada and the U.S. have long cooperated to maintain mutually beneficial defense trade controls. After the 9-11 terrorist attacks, however, the U.S. amended its international traffic in arms regulations to impose stricter rules governing military procurements. Despite harmful economic and strategic implications for Canada, the Liberals did nothing to respond. Can the Minister of Defence update the House on how Canada's new government is protecting Canada's national interests? Honourable the Minister of National Defence. I am pleased to say that we have a new ITAR agreement with the United here, States, here. and we are the only country that has served a secure section arrangement. Unlike the former Liberal government that ignored the problem, we are getting things done. We sought and achieved a solution that supports common security objectives. This is good news for the Canadian forces, ensuring we can continue to move forward with the purchase of critical equipment for our troops. This arrangement is the first phase in resolving a complex issue for both governments and industry. The Honourable